Hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. I am so sorry that I was gone for such a long time. Thank you for your patience. I was busy on vacation and also making this lovely pattern for you and I am convinced that the wait was worth it because look at this. This thing is awesome. This is a patchwork vest and it's a perfect use for all of your scrap yarn. I was able to use up just this whole box of scrap yarn I had laying around and turn it into this wonderful vest. If you are new here, hello, I make crochet tutorials every single Tuesday. Typically, this time we were a little bit late, but I make patterns of different wearable art and other fun things you can crochet, beginner friendly, intermediate friendly, and also advanced friendly. And we are so close to our first thousand subscribers. So if you're willing to help me reach that goal by subscribing or even just liking this video or commenting, I would be so, so grateful. So thank you in advance. And here is our tutorial. The first square that we're going to be making is sort of a full coverage square. It looks like this, and I make this one with just one solid color, although you could switch colors if you wanted to. So I'm going to be using this light purple for our square today, and I'm going to start by making a slip knot and casting on. Like so, and then we're going to start by chaining five. So now I'm going to insert my hook into our very first chain and I'm going to slip stitch. So I'm grabbing this yarn and I'm pulling it through both loops, making a little circle here. I'm going to go ahead and chain two, which acts as our first double crochet. So then I'm going to place three double crochets into this circle. So I'm going to do one double crochet just right into the center. And two. and three. So if we go ahead and count this chain section as also being a double crochet, then that means we have four double crochets coming out of the center here. So now I'm going to go ahead and chain three, and then we're going to place another four double crochets into the center. chain three, four double crochets again into the center, chain three, and four double crochets right into the center. So now I'm going to chain three again, and I'm going to look for this first double crochet that we placed into the circle, and I'm going to insert my hook into that stitch, pull my yarn through, and slip stitch closed. So now we have a bit of a square happening here. As you can see, we've got each corner being a little loop section with our chain three. So now we can begin on the next row, which I'm gonna start by chaining two. And in this immediate first stitch here, I'm going to place a double crochet, and then I'm gonna place two more double crochets, one into each of these stitches leading up to the corner. So here's another double crochet. And then another one. So that's three double crochets. And then into this corner section here, we're going to place two more double crochets just right underneath the chain. I'm then going to chain three and place another two double crochets again, just right under the chain in this corner section. And then I'm going to place a double crochet in every single stitch to the next corner. So you should be doing four double crochets in between here and the next corner. I then place two double crochets into the corner. Chain three. And then two double crochets again into that corner. And I'm going to place a double crochet into every one of these stitches all the way to the next corner. I am then going to slip stitch into our very first double crochet here. 
So I'm inserting my hook and bringing the yarn all the way through. Therefore, completing our second row. This is such an easy pattern. All the rest of the rows are going to look exactly the same as what we just did. And for this vest, I've been doing four rows on each square. So here is our first granny square, the very full coverage one with four rows and this lovely little lace trim coming out from the center. Here is our other solid color square I want to share with you, which again, you can of course use multiple colors if you so choose. This one is a much looser square it's much more like a doily and it's quite lace like but it is just as easy to make so I'm going to be using this super thin white yarn for this one and again I'm going to start by just making a slip knot I'm going to begin by chaining five and then I'm going to insert my hook into that first chain and create a slip stitch therefore making our little circle Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and chain two, and then we're going to place three double crochets inside of the circle. So if we go ahead and count our first chain as another double crochet, then we have four double crochets coming out of this circle. So then I'm going to go ahead and chain four. and place four more double crochets into the circle. I'm then going to chain four again and place another four double crochets to the center of the circle chain four and another four double crochets into the circle. I'm going to chain four one more time and then I'm going to insert my hook into this first double crochet or chain stitch here and we're going to do a slip stitch to close therefore making much more of a square shape here with each of our four corners. So now to continue into the next row I'm going to chain five three, four, and five chains, like so. I am then going to yarn over and place four double crochets into this first corner here. And four. So then I'm gonna go ahead and chain four. And then I'm going to place another four double crochets into that same corner. Chain two and place four double crochets into the next corner here. I'm then going to chain four and place four double crochets again into that same corner. Chain two and four double crochets into the next corner and you're just going to repeat that same process all the way around to the end of this row. So now once I've reached the end of this row, I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into our third chain here to complete that row. So now for the next row, I'm going to start by again chaining five, three, four, five. And now I'm going to double crochet into the first stitch after this gap here. So this stitch, I'm going to place a double crochet. I'm then going to chain two and place four double crochets into this first corner. Chain four, and four double crochets into that same corner. I'm then going to chain two, and in the stitch right before this middle gap, so this double crochet right here, I'm going to insert my hook and place a double crochet. I'm then going to chain two, and place a double crochet into the stitch right after this middle section. So this stitch here, and then chain two, and place four double crochets into this corner. I'm then going to chain four, and place four double crochets into that same corner. Again, I'm going to chain two, and I'm going to place a double crochet into the stitch right before this center section chain two 
and place a double crochet into the stitch right after the center. So this stitch right here. Chain two, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the four double crochets for the corner and go all the way around this row and I'll see you once I'm done with that. And at the end of the row here, I chain two and then into our third chain, I'm going to insert the hook, slip stitch, and complete that row. So now I'm gonna do one more row because I do four rows for each of these. So I'm gonna start by chaining five and I'm going to place a double crochet into the stitch right here past this little gap like so. I'm then going to chain two and place a double crochet again into the very first stitch after this little gap here or chain section, whatever you wanna call it. I'm then going to chain two again and do our corner with the four double crochets, chain four, and four double crochets again into that same corner. Chain two and place a double crochet into the stitch right before this first gap in this row. Chain two and then place a double crochet into the stitch right here in between these two sections. Chain two, place a double crochet into the next pillar here or stitch in between the two sections. Chain two, place a double crochet into the stitch right after this section. like so, and then chain two, and complete your corner and the rest of the row as we just did. So I'm gonna finish up this last row of the square and I'll see you at the end. And here is the completed granny square. This one, as I said, is much lacier. It's very pretty and it's a wonderful contrast to the last granny square we made. I really like the way the two look side by side. So these are our two solid granny squares for this pattern. And now we can start making all of the fun, colorful squares. The first colorful square that we're going to make is essentially a classic granny square. I'm going to be using these two shades of pink and I'll be alternating back and forth between the two as we do this square. So I'm going to start with our very lightest shade here and I'm going to begin by making a slip knot. So we're going to start as we do with all the other squares and begin by chaining five. I'm then going to insert my hook into the first chain here and create a slip stitch. I think we're about to get hit with a thunderstorm, so if you hear any rain or thunder in the background, that's what that is. Just let it add to the lovely ambiance. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and chain two, and then we're going to place two double crochets into the center circle here. Chain two, and now I'm going to place another three double crochets right into the center. and three. So then I'm going to chain two again and then place another three double crochets right into that center. Chain two and three double crochets again into the center And finally, we're gonna chain two and then slip stitch into our first double crochet here. So I'm pulling that yarn through, creating a perfect little square with our four corners. So now I'm gonna cast off this color because we're gonna bring in our next shade of pink. And I'm going to insert my hook into any one of these four corners. And I'm gonna get my other color and I'm just gonna pull it right through like so. And then I'm gonna go ahead and chain two and then place two double crochets right into that corner. I'm then going to chain two and place three double crochets into this exact same corner here. I'm going to chain one and place three double crochets right into the next corner. 
This is a granny square I'm sure most of you are fairly familiar with. I'm then chaining two and placing three double crochets again into this corner. Chain one and three double crochets into the next corner. Chain two and three double crochets into that same corner. So I'm gonna do the same thing for the next corner and I'll see you at the end. So I just finished this last corner, so I'm gonna go ahead and chain one, and then right into this first double crochet that we made, I'm going to insert my hook, pull the yarn through, and slip stitch, making our second row. So then I'm gonna go ahead and cast off this color. I always leave a little bit of a tail here when I cut my yarn because we are going to have to weave all this yarn in at the end. So it's good to have enough that you can actually do that. And I'm going to again insert my hook into any one of these corners here. So I'm going to just insert my hook right into that corner and bring my pale pink yarn right through and I'm going to chain two like so. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and place two double crochets right into that same corner. chain two, and three double crochets right into the same corner. I'm then going to chain one, and now in this center section here, we're going to place three double crochets. Two and three. Okay, so then I'm gonna go ahead and chain one, and then we're gonna do our next corner the same way with three double crochets, chain two, and place three double crochets again into that same exact corner. Chain one, and three double crochets into this middle section here. Two, three, so then I'm gonna go ahead and chain one, and I'm gonna do the same thing all the way around the square, and I'll see you once I'm done with this row. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and chain one, and then slip stitch into that first double crochet that we made for the row, and I'm gonna cast off this color. And this last row is going to be basically the same thing. So I'm inserting my hook into any one of these corners and I'm bringing my yarn through, securing it with that first chain, and then I'm gonna chain two. And then for the corner, we're gonna do two double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets into that same corner. Okay, I'm going to chain one and place three double crochets into this first section here and chain one, and then place three double crochets into the next section. I chain one, and then I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this next corner and all the way around the square until I reach the end. So I'm just gonna go ahead and work my way around with this last row of our granny square, and I'll see you at the very end. And there we have our gorgeous granny square with these alternating colors. It's such a fun addition to the vest and I'm really excited to show you our very last colorful pattern because it uses the most colors out of all of these squares and it's such a fun one to make. Our final granny square is going to be a starburst pattern and for this one I use a different color for every single row of the pattern. So here's my little color combo and we're gonna start with this little bit of pale purple for the center. Hopefully I have enough yarn here. I'm kind of playing yarn chicken right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and cast on. And we're gonna start this one the same way as all the other squares by chaining five. And into our very first chain here, I'm going to insert my hook and do a slip stitch to make our little circle. So then I'm gonna go ahead and chain two. And now we're going to place 15 double crochets into the center of our circle. So I'm going to do 15 double crochets, 14, and 15 double crochets right into that center circle. So now I'm going to insert my hook into that first double crochet that we made, and I'm going to pull the yarn through making a slip stitch so I can cast off our first color. And I'm going to insert my hook into any one of these stitches along the circle. So I'm just gonna do this one here, and I'm going to bring in our next color, which for me is going to be this bright pink. And I'm just going to pull that color through and place one chain to secure it in place. And now I'm going to chain two, and then place two double crochets into that exact same stitch. One and two. 
So now if we say that this chain here is also a double crochet, then that means we would have three double crochets in this stitch, which is what we're going to do all the way around. So now I'm going to go ahead and chain one and I'm going to skip this next stitch and then in the stitch right after it, I'm going to insert my hook and place three double crochets into this same stitch. So there's two and three double crochets. So then I'm going to chain one. And again, I'm going to skip the very next stitch, and in the stitch right after it, I'm going to place three double crochets. And I'm just going to continue doing that all the way around the circle. And I'm going to go ahead and insert my hook right into this first double crochet that we made, pull the yarn through, and create a slip stitch. So there's our second row, and I'm going to go ahead and cast off with this color. So now I'm going to bring in my next color by picking any one of these sections in between the double crochets. I'm going to go ahead and insert my hook, and I'm going to bring through this white yarn, my next color. And I'm going to do one chain to secure that in place, and then we're going to go ahead and chain two. And now I'm going to place three double crochets right into this same section. So here's one, two, and three double crochets. I'm then going to chain two and place four double crochets into the next section here. So I'm then going to chain two and place four double crochets again into that next section. And I'm just going to do that all the way around the circle. So now I'm going to go ahead and insert my hook into this first double crochet that we made to cast off this color. And now for our final row, we have to turn this circle into a square. And I'm going to do that with our final color here. I'm going to insert my hook into any one of these sections around the circle. And I'm going to bring in this sort of like dusty pink color. I'm pulling the yarn through and I'm placing one chain just to keep it in place. And then I'm going to go ahead and chain three. Okay, three chains there. So then I'm going to place two treble crochets into the same section. A treble crochet, if you're not familiar with them, is done by yarning over twice, inserting your hook into the section, pulling yarn through, and then I'm going to yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two loops. So it's like a super tall double crochet. So I'm going to do two of those. So I just did one, now I'm going to do my second one. Okay, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. I'm then going to go ahead and chain one, and then place three double crochets into this next section. Two, and three. Chain one and place three treble crochets into the next section. These treble crochets are going to make up our corner. So now I'm going to do three of these, chain two, and place another three treble crochets into that same exact space here, therefore making our corner. And three treble crochets. I'm then going to chain one and place three double crochets into the next section. And then we are going to make another corner, so I'm going to chain one and place three treble crochets into this next space. So then I'm going to chain two and place another three treble crochets into that same exact space, making our second corner. Okay, and then again I'm going to chain one and three double crochets into the next space. And now we're going to finish off right where we started because we started on a corner, but we only made half of the corner so far. So I'm going to go ahead and place three treble crochets into that same section as what we started on. I'm then going to chain two and insert my hook into that first treble crochet or last chain. Pull the yarn through, making a slip stitch, and I'm going to go ahead and cast off. And there is our completed lovely starburst, or some people consider it a flower design granny square. So we actually have all four of our granny squares for this pattern completed. And it is completely up to you how many of each kind you want to make. But in the end, you're going to need 28 of these full squares to make a cropped vest and 37 if you want a full length vest. And this is, of course, measurements that fit me perfectly. So you may need to make more or less squares 
squares if you need to adjust it to your own size. One thing about crochet clothing, especially the more stiff projects like vests or sweaters, is I feel like they often look quite blocky and they just don't fit me quite right. And that is exactly why I designed all these little pieces like these triangles, or there's like a little L sort of shape in the back here. And you may not see that on your typical granny square vest, but I added these so that way the vest could have more give, more shape, and it could just kind of hug my figure better and fit more like a normal vest that you would make out of fabric. And I really think this upgrades the whole crochet vest game to a whole new level. So here's how to make those little extra pieces you're going to need for this pattern. The half granny square or the granny rectangle is very very similar to just a traditional granny square with just a few little alterations so I'm going to be making mine with both purple and white and every row I'm going to be alternating back and forth between these two colors I'm going to go ahead and start with my dark purple and I'm just going to make a little slip knot and now I'm going to begin by chaining three Okay, so now I'm going to place two double crochets right into this very first chain here so I'm inserting my hook into that first chain and we're going to place two double crochets like so. Okay, so then we're going to chain two. And now I'm going to place three double crochets again into that same first stitch. It might seem a little bit tight and like you can't fit it all into that one stitch, but just keep going and somehow it'll work its way out. It always does. So there's two and three. And then I'm going to chain two and we're going to place another three double crochets into that first stitch or the center now. One, two, and three. Okay, so now if we look at it, we can see we have kind of a rectangle here. We've got like half of our square with our two corners and that's exactly what we want. So I'm going to cast off and bring in our white yarn now and I'm going to insert my hook right into the same stitch that we left off on. So this first stitch right here, I'm inserting my hook and I'm going to bring my white yarn through and one chain to lock it in place. I am now gonna chain two and I'm turning my work. And now I'm going to yarn over and place a double crochet in between the first and the second stitch of this row. I'm not inserting my hook into the top or the loop of the stitch up here like you normally would. Instead, I'm going down to the actual base of the stitches and I'm going to insert my hook right in between this first and second stitch right here like so and place a double crochet. And then I'm going to chain one and I'm going to place two double crochets into this first corner here. Chain two and place another two double crochets into this corner. Okay, then I'm gonna chain one and place two double crochets into the next corner. Chain two and place another two double crochets into that same corner. I'm then going to chain one and now in between the last and second to last stitch, again, not in the actual stitch up at the top here, but below in between these stitches, I'm going to insert my hook and I'm going to place two double crochets into that section like so. Okay, so there's our second row completed and I'm going to go ahead and cast off this color so we can bring in our purple again. So I'm going to insert my hook right into that stitch that we just left off on and I'm going to bring my purple yarn through. I'm then going to go ahead and chain three, two and three and into this section here where we had our chain previously, I'm going to place two double crochets. So as you can see, this is very similar to just a normal granny square. And then I'm going to chain one and into the top corner here, I'm going to place two double crochets, chain two, and place another two double crochets into that same corner. I'm then going to chain one and place two double crochets into the section here in between our two corners, chain one, two double crochets into our second corner, chain two, and two double crochets into that same corner. 
chain one, two double crochets into this last section here. And now to make sure that we're ending at the actual end of the row, I'm going to chain one and I'm going to place a double crochet right into this last stitch like so. So as you can see, we still have our little half square happening here and I'm going to cast off and bring in our white for one final row. So again, I'm just inserting my hook into that one stitch that we cast it off from and I'm going to bring in my white yarn or my other color. I'm just going to pull it right through. So now I'm going to chain two and I'm going to place one double crochet into this first section because that chain sort of acts as our other double crochet. And then I'm going to chain one and place two double crochets into the next section. Chain one, two double crochets into this first corner. And there is our completed half granny square or granny rectangle, if you will. And you are going to need three of these half granny squares. The triangle granny square or granny triangle is quite similar to the half granny square that we just made. So I'm going to be making this triangle mostly with this light pink here. And I'm going to do a little border with the dark pink. And just like the half granny square, we're going to start by chaining three. One, two, Three. And then I'm going to place two double crochets into the very first chain that we made here. So two double crochets. I'm then going to chain two and place three double crochets into that same stitch or chain. Two and three. And then we're going to stop here because we need to make the triangle shape. So we only need one corner for the top of our triangle. So I'm going to go ahead and chain four. I'm then going to turn my work and I am now placing three double crochets in between our first and second stitch here. And just like with the half granny square, I'm not putting my hook into the stitch as you normally would. Instead, I'm going below the stitches to the actual like root of the stitch here and I'm placing my hook in between the two stitches and I'm going to place three double crochets there. So one and three double crochets. I'm then going to chain one and now we're going to go right up to our corner here and I'm going to place three double crochets into that corner. Three, chain two, and place another three double crochets into that same exact corner. Two and three. Okay, I'm then going to chain one and I'm going to place three double crochets in between the last and second to last stitch down here at the bottom of our triangle. And just like we did with the start of our triangle, I'm placing my hook in between the actual like base or root of the stitches and not in the sections up here where you normally would. So I'm going to place three double crochets in between the last and second to last stitch. Two and three. Therefore completing our very first row and you're starting to see that triangle shape take place. And now for the next row, I'm going to start by chaining five. One, two, three, four, five. Turn my work and I'm going to place three double crochets into this first open section here where we previously made a chain. I'm then going to chain one and place three double crochets into the top of our triangle here. Chain two and three double crochets into that same section to make the top of the triangle. Chain one and three double crochets into this section here. Chain one and now I'm going to place a double crochet right into this very last stitch. Like so. So now for our last row, I'm going to bring in my darker pink color. So I'm going to cast off with this color. So I'm now inserting my hook into that stitch that we just cast it off from and I'm bringing this next color through. So now I'm going to chain two 
and this chain here is going to act as one of our double crochets, so I'm only going to place two double crochets into this first section. Like so. I'm then going to chain one and place three double crochets into the next section. Chain one, three double crochets into the corner or top of the triangle here. Chain two, and three double crochets into that same exact section. We're then working our way back down the triangle by chaining one and placing three double crochets into the next section. Chain one, three double crochets into this last section here. One, two, and three. And there is our completed granny triangle or triangle granny square. Right now it is a little bit rounded and that is okay because when we stitch it together it'll look much better. And you're going to need to make four of these triangles. The final piece you need for this vest puzzle is going to be sort of an L-shaped granny square. So I'm going to be making that with this white yarn here. And then I'm going to start by chaining three just like the other two patterns. And now into the very first chain here, I'm going to place two double crochets. Oh, it's raining again. One and two. Okay, I'm then going to chain two and now place three double crochets again into that same stitch. Two and three double crochets. So now we are going to chain two, yarn over and place a double crochet right into this first stitch here. I'm then going to chain two and then double crochet right into the next stitch. And one more double crochet right here at the base of our little section or corner, like so. So now in the corner or section here, I'm going to place three double crochets. I'm going to then chain two and place another three double crochets right into that same section. And three. Like so. Okay, this yarn's a little bit fluffy, but I'm going to do my best to show you. So typically when I say place a double crochet into the first stitch, you would think to go into the first obvious stitch here, but instead we're going to go into this chain that's coming out of the first stitch. So I'm kind of moving my double crochets out of the way here in the corner so I can see that first chain and I'm going to insert my hook into that and make a double crochet. So then I still have my three double crochets here going down to the bottom of our what currently is like a triangle shape. So I'm going to yarn over and place a double crochet into this next stitch. I'm then going to chain two and place a double crochet into the last two stitches down to the bottom here. So at this point it should look like this. So now we're going to start on row number three. I'm going to chain two and place a double crochet right into this first stitch here. And then I'm going to place another double crochet right here at this stitch which is starting into our next little open section here and in this section we're going to place two double crochets chain two and another two double crochets right into that same section i am then going to place a double crochet into every single stitch all the way up to the top section or corner here so every single one of these stitches gets a double crochet. And now that I've reached the top hole or corner here, I'm going to place three double crochets into this section, chain two, and another three double crochets goes into the exact same section. I am then going to place a double crochet into each stitch until I reach this section here. So just like I did on the way up, double crochet into each stitch working back down. Now here is my little section and in this I'm going to place two double crochets, chain two, and another two double crochets. And now I'm going to place a double crochet into these last few stitches working my way back down. So I should have two double crochets here, back down to the start. 
So now you can see we have what does look like a triangle, but it is sort of coming in further on this bottom part here. So it's creating a little bit more of an L shape than it is a triangle. And that's exactly what we want it to look like. So now we can begin on our next row, which I'm going to begin the next row by chaining two. And then we're going to place a double crochet into each stitch leading up to this very first hole or what is now kind of a corner here. So double crochet into each stitch. And now in this section, I'm going to place two double crochets, going to chain two, and place another two double crochets into the same section. And now because I want to make sure that we stay on brand and we have a little bit of like a lacy frilly look, I'm going to go ahead and chain one and then skip this immediate stitch and in the next one place a double crochet and then again chain one skip a stitch and in the next one place a double crochet and now at the top we're going to treat this like normal and do our three double crochets right into the corner chain two and three double crochets into the exact same section i'm going to place a double crochet right into this first stitch chain one skip a stitch and into the next one I'm placing a double crochet and just repeat that all the way back down till we reach this next section here. So skip a stitch, double crochet, chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet, chain one. And now in this section I'm going to place two double crochets, chain two, and another two double crochets into that same exact section. And now in this last little stretch here to end off the row, I'm just going to place a double crochet into every single stitch. And then I'm just going to cast off. Now when you lay it flat on the table like this, you can see it makes this lovely L shape right here. And that is exactly what we need for this vest. And you are only going to need two of these, so I'm going to go ahead and make one more and then we can lay out the design for the vest. Once you have finished making all of the squares, triangles, and other shapes that you need for this vest, you're going to go ahead and lay them out in this exact order that I'm showing here on the screen. If you are planning to make the cropped vest, then you can simply refrain from placing that bottom row of squares, and you can of course add or take away squares and rows to fit your measurements perfectly. So once I have my design completely laid out with the wrong sides facing up, so all the sides that have the loose strands, I will then go ahead and stitch all the squares together before weaving in all the loose ends. So once you are done with that, your vest should look something like this. So then I'm going to go ahead and fold in both sides and bring the arm straps down flush with the center portion of our vest. And I'm just going to go ahead and sew those straps into place. As you can see, they are much smaller than the actual big square we're sewing them onto. So if this really bothers you, you can make little triangles as I showed you earlier to sew onto both sides. But instead what I do is I just find the center of the square, I line it up perfectly and I sew my strap right into the center. There will be a little bit of an overlap on either side of the squares, but I will show you when we make the border how to kind of bring that into a nice angle instead. So once you've completed that, you now have your full vest. So you can try it on, make sure it fits, make sure you like the way it looks. And now the last thing we're going to do is add a border to that vest to sort of seal in all of the rough edges. And now I'm going to be adding a border to my vest here just to help smooth out all the rough edges. So I'm going to be doing my border in this dark purple because it honestly is the only color I have left and I'm just going to pick one of these corners. So I'm going to start on this corner here and I'm going to insert my hook right into this chain. So right at the corner, like so. So now I have my hook inserted right at the bottom corner on the left side of the vest. I'm going to bring my purple through. I'm going to chain two and double crochet right into the next stitch. Okay, so I'm just double crocheting into every single stitch now along the bottom of our vest. Sometimes when we reach the chain sections or the places where we sewed our squares together, it can be kind of hard to see where to put a double crochet, so just take your time and really look at your work as you go along. If you want your border to be much smaller, then you can also do single crochets. And if you want it to be much taller, you can come back and do another row of double crochets at the end. I have now placed a double crochet stitch into every one of these spaces all the way along the bottom here up until the next corner and I'm just going to keep going just right around this corner placing a double crochet into every single stitch just like so and now that I'm around that corner 
Hang on, there we go. And now that I'm around that corner, I'm just gonna work my way all the way up this side, around the top here, and then all the way back down the other side. And you'll see as you go along, it's just kind of a continuous up and down, and you're just gonna work all the way back until you reach the first corner that we started on. So I'm gonna go ahead and place a double crochet into every one of these stitches all the way up the side, along the neck, and then all the way back down the other side. When I reach this section where I sewed together the half square and the full squares, we have this kind of weird corner here where they connected. I'm going to place treble crochets into these middle stitches. That way the stitch is a lot taller, like so. I'm going to place a few of them along these stitches, bringing the height up and therefore filling in that space. And this just helps to kind of smooth out these edges. So I'm gonna place one more. And then I'm gonna go right back into doing double crochets. So there you can see we create a little bit of a corner here to kind of fill in that blank space a bit better. I have now reached the very end where we start our first row of this purple crochet. So I'm just going to slip stitch into that first double crochet that we made, or that first chain. There we are. And so then we have one solid row of double crochets all the way along the bottom and going up both sides. I will be leaving this vest exactly how it is, but if you wanted to add buttons or ties to your vest, then you want to take your yarn and work your way right back up and all the way around and back down for another row of double crochets, which you can then turn into buttonholes. You can sew buttons on one side, or you can do strings to tie it closed. But I'm going to have this just be a completely open vest with just the one row of these double crochets. So I'm gonna go ahead and cast off here at the bottom. So the very final step for this vest is we now need to add our border to the armholes on both sides. So I'm gonna start on this side and I'm just gonna pick any random stitch here and I'm going to bring my border color or my dark purple through, chain two, and then start placing double crochets. And I have found when I go along the armholes, if I place a double crochet into every single stitch, it starts to get a bit warped and bumpy, almost like a lace texture, which I don't want because I want the armholes of the vest to be quite stiff and defined. So instead I skip every other stitch and then place a double crochet. This just makes sure that there's no extra bumps or lacy texture to the edges here. So in every other stitch along the edge here, I'm going to place a double crochet. And just like we did with that last time, when I reach where we secured the half square to the full square, I'm going to be placing treble crochets into these middle stitches in order to just kind of fill it out a bit more. And then go back to my double crochets. Again, skipping every other stitch. And that will sort of fill out that edge and just smooth it out a little bit more. So I'm just going to continue all the way along here, placing a double crochet into every other stitch. I will then do the exact same thing to the other armhole, weave in any extra loose ends. And if I was adding buttons or ties, I would then do that. And my vest is then completed. How cute is that? I am so excited and curious to see what kind of color combination you used for your vest. So if you post any pictures of your creation, then please tag me in those. That way I can see how yours turned out. I'm so excited to see that. Again, if you haven't subscribed yet, then please do so. I appreciate that so much. And if not, then I simply appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for that and for watching this video all the way to the end. And have a wonderful week. I will see you next week, Tuesday. Most likely, I, I will try to post again on a good schedule. So I will see you next week, Tuesday, and enjoy your vest, because I will certainly be enjoying mine. Alright, goodbye. This is such a unique and customizable piece, and I don't know about you, but when I wear it, I not only do I feel really cool, I also feel like I need to go get an ice cream cone, and I also feel like I need to just like go kind of do like a little dance somewhere. It's so fun, and I want to wear it for the rest of my life.